I'm often referring to the movie Apocalypse Now sort of as um, an interesting way of approaching human existence. Um, you see the first nine-tenths of the movie where you're slowly and with trepidation but great, um, a great sense of profundity moving towards the center of existence, the center of life, uh, where the ultimate sort of survivor exists. Um, if, if the universe is kill or be killed, you're going to go find the guy who rules the universe, Walter Kurtz. And of course, as time goes by, as they go up the river towards their destiny, they see more and more evidence of how horrible the world can be and how pointless and violent it is. Um, and you tend to see Walter Kurtz, the sort of dark ubermensch, I guess, although I don't see him as an ubermensch at all. Um, dark Superman, I guess. Um, you're seeing why he's kind of right. Uh, war, survival of the fittest, brutality, all this kind of thing. And But towards the end, you realize that he himself has realized, it's kind of like the same story as the sea wolf, that if life is just survival, then life is a failure. Uh, if that's all the purpose of existence is, is to be the strongest person that gets to pass your DNA on to survive, then life really is just a hamster wheel. Um, and it had a great deal to do with the fundamental nature of the jungle. The jungle, the forest primeval, um, is not the vicious, brutal thing that rewards the strong and brutalizes the weak. The jungle just is. And the denizens of the jungle don't necessarily see it as a evil place at all. It's just where they exist. Um, to illustrate this, I'm going to read a very politically incorrect poem. I have a disclaimer here. It's not I'm not putting this across as a good poem or anything like that, but just the ideas that are put forth in it. There's racist, uh, cloyingly racist language used. But at the end, um, when you see the poem as a whole, it's pretty much stridently and triumphantly anti-racist. It's called The Negress by uh, Canadian poet Audrey Alexandra Brown. Very obscure poem. Dark as ebony, darker than night, with wine-red lips and teeth so white, teeth so bright they would tarnish pearl. Down the street went the tall black girl. Round hips swaying and big eyes bright, she moved as freely and stepped as light, as though around her the jungle loomed and the witch bones clattered and the tom-toms boomed. As she walked in her crimson calico gown, eyes peered in windows all across town. Heads wagged, tongues clucked, the things they said. But she was alive, and they were dead. Um, quite powerful stuff, right? And I like it because of the antiquated racist language in it, because it gets the point across very well brutally in hindsight. Um, is the jungle really a bad place, or is that where life is? Um, you might not see it as a paradise, but it's existence. Who would you rather be in this poem? The woman, the black woman walking down the street, being stared at, judged harshly uh, by all the hens in town, um, being viciously gossiped about in a way that sort of only repressed middle-class white people seem to be able to be, or at least exemplify? Or is it better to be the black girl herself? I would say it's quite unambiguous. It's better to be the negress. She's alive. They're dead. Um, the jungle is life. What's the non-jungle? 